certainly our lady members of the guiding team, specifically Jamie, has spoken at length about the inelegance of Hosanna in his descent. And I've detected a note of sort of, well, if not feminism, certainly an element of, um, uh, what shall we say, uh, female bias in her assessments. There he, she comes. And I think, well, that wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It was actually, I'm going to have to agree with Jamie. I think that was more elegant than her brother's capable of. She'll just have a little clean now because that's what leopards do. And what she must do, of course, is come north towards her brother. That will make us all very happy indeed. I mean, that is a wonderful picture. Yes, come on, come this way. Oh, it's so nice to spend a bit of time with him again. I wonder where her mum is. Their mum's probably gone off hunting. Johan had her last in the far eastern boundary, as I said yesterday. There she is. Now I'm going to settle gently. Cheryl, you're wondering about the hunting and whether they have an easier time. Oh, look, 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 just to the left. Right, sorry, that's the right-hand side, isn't it? You say do leopards have an easier time hunting in the longer grass? Yes, they do, especially in the day. You know, the grass gives them such an excellent place to hide. There is a disadvantage to it as well, though, Cheryl, and that disadvantage is the fact that they find it difficult to see over the top of the grass. Now, that might seem almost trivial, but it isn't. Uh, it's not easy to see over the tops of the grass when it's this long. And that means that they have to keep popping their heads up. Sometimes they can't do that. They actually have to stand up on their back, back legs. They will leap up and look. And I think it's most nicely illustrated. If you go to Cheetah Plains and you've watched the cheetah walking through the plains there, it's quite difficult for them to see what's going on. And it's the same for the leopards. But that said, I still think that it's an easier time for them to hunt than it would be otherwise. So it's why leopards and lions will give birth predominantly in the summer months. Not always. They can give birth in the winter. In fact, most of our last group of cubs were birthed during the winter time. But for the stalking predators, the thicker the bushes, the easier it is. This is just great stuff. And I'm going to keep an eye on her brother because her brother is now stalking her. Let's have a look this side, Craig. He's coming this way. Either that or he's gone to sleep, but I, he looks to me like he's about to stalk her. I can't believe no one else has come to the sighting. It's just too wonderful to have both of these leopards all to ourselves. Of course, we've yet to see their mother, who turned 13 years old yesterday. Bless her. No, he's gone, so let's go back to the other leopard. I'll keep an eye on the male. If he decides to do anything, uh, we'll move. Everything very calm. I think it certainly tells me that they have had a fairly substantial amount of food over the last few days. 
she looks very content. She's a special cat, this one. Now her brother is flat in the grass. I'm 99% I'm sure that we drove straight past both of them when we came past here earlier this morning. Ian, you're 10 years old and you're in Canada and you're asking a very good question to which I'm not sure there's a very good answer. And so I hope that you will be satisfied with what I'm going to say to you. You say, why do leopards have rosettes and cheetahs have spots? Why is one helpful in one context and not the other? I think what you'll find is that it's quite a complicated answer, Ian, and I don't know how much about things like evolution you know or how b or you know the advantages of adaptation but it's basically the same or similar solution to the same problem so the say the problem that these cats have of course is the need to stay hidden all the time and so what you need to do if you want to stay hidden in the case of these cats is to try and, uh, well, the spots help them to stay hidden when they're hunting. Now, it just happens, here the male's up, it just happens, Ian, that there are two different ways you can do that. You can do that with spots or you can do it with rosettes. And these cats developed at different times. And what happened is that they've now developed the same strategy or a different strategy for the same problem. So I don't think that there's any real advantage to having rosettes versus spots. I just think that that's how nature has made them and it's given them two different solutions to the same problem of being hidden. He, now he's going to stalk his sister. <laughs> She's looking for him. <laughs> Look at that. I don't think she can see him. Oh, that's a wonderful picture of her there. <laughs> Let's just keep an eye there. I think they probably will leap onto each other fairly soon. Oh, let's move around. Let's move around there. To the fire break. We'll just 